Hello all, welcome back to Circuit Switch YouTube channel. It's been so long to post a video, sorry about that. So, today in this video we are going to see about energy bands in intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductor. Before starting the video, if you are new to this channel, click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, so whenever I post a new video, you will get notified. What is energy band theory? This energy band theory is a basic principle of semiconductor material physics and can also be used to explain differences in electrical characteristics between metals, insulators and semiconductors. Bef metals, these are solids which have very low resistivity or very high conductivity, in which electrons move freely in space. Insulators, these are solids which have very high resistivity or very low conductivity, in which electrons are packed in space. Semiconductors, these are solids which have resistivity or conductivity values between those of metals and insulators, in which some electrons move freely in space. And there are types of semiconductors. 1. Elemental Semiconductor These semiconductors available naturally like silicon, C, and germanium. 2. Compound Semiconductors These are made by compounding two or more metals together. They are subdivided into these categories, A. Inorganic, B. Organic, C. Organic Polymers. Eventually, organic semiconductors were used and semiconducting polymers were developed. Now, let's get back to energy band theory. According to Bohr's theory, every shell of an atom contains a discrete amount of energy at different levels. Energy band theory explains the interaction of electrons between the outermost shell and the innermost shell. Based on the energy band theory, there are three different energy bands. One, conduction band. 2. Valence Band 3. Forbidden Energy Gap What is Conduction Band? The conduction band is the band of electron orbitals that electrons can jump up into from the valence band when excited. When the electrons are in these orbitals, they have enough energy to move freely in the material. This movement of electrons creates an electric current. What is valence band? The valence band is simply the outermost electron orbital of an atom of any specific material that electrons actually occupy. Valence band is the band of electron orbitals that electrons can jump out of, moving into the conduction band when excited. What is forbidden energy gap? The gap between the valence band and the conduction band is referred to as the forbidden gap. As the name suggests, the forbidden gap doesn't have any energy and no electrons stay in this band. Now, let's see what intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductors is. A semiconductor substance has an electrical property that sits between an insulator and a conductor. Silicon and germanium are the greatest examples of semiconductors. There are two types of semiconductors, intrinsic semiconductors and extrinsic semiconductors, P-type and N-type. Intrinsic semiconductor The definition of an intrinsic semiconductor is a semiconductor that is exceedingly pure. According to the energy band theory, the conductivity of this semiconductor will be zero at ambient temperature. Silicon and germanium are two examples of intrinsic semiconductors. Extrinsic semiconductor Extrinsic semiconductors are semiconductors that have had an impurity introduced to them at a regulated rate to make them conductive. 
Now let's see about energy bands in intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductor. The energy band diagram of intrinsic semiconductor is as follows. The conduction band is empty whereas the valence band is filled totally. Once the temperature is increased, some heat energy can be supplied to it. So, the electrons from the valence band are supplied towards the conduction band by leaving the valence band. The flow of electrons while reaching from valence to the conduction band will be random. The holes formed within the crystal can also flow anywhere freely. So, the behavior of this semiconductor will show a negative TCR, temperature coefficient of resistance. The TCR means, when the temperature increases, the material's resistivity will be decreased and the conductivity will be increased. Before moving to extrinsic semiconductor, we have to know about important topic called doping. What is doping? The process of adding impurity to a semiconductor is known as doping. By adding the impurity, the number of holes or electrons can be increased to make it conductive. Based on the kind of impurity added, the extrinsic semiconductor can be classified into two types like n-type semiconductor and p-type semiconductor. What is extrinsic semiconductor? To make a semiconductor like conductive, then some impurities are added which is called extrinsic semiconductor. At room temperature, this kind of semiconductor will conduct a small current, however, it is not helpful in making a variety of electronic devices. Therefore, to make the semiconductor conductive, a little quantity of appropriate impurity can be added to the material through the doping process. So, this the end of the video. If you find the video helpful, please like and subscribe the video.